What's going on my dudes, it's your boy Fiend, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to take any of NVIDIA's RTX resource packs and use them on your own Minecraft worlds. So if you're like me, you probably saw the texture packs that they were using in the NVIDIA world and said, damn, that looks really good, I want to use that on my worlds, and then realized that they didn't exactly make it very available to you. However, there is a way of doing this, but let's just really take a quick look to see what it is that I'm talking about. So give this a quick second. So yeah, you basically see all the nice textures, how everything looks very more 3D, has a bit more detail to it. And it looks a lot nicer. You got better shapes. It just it looks a bit more immersive than the uh, standard thing you got going. So why didn't they just make that available? And why are the things that they supplied not exactly the same? Well, why I have no idea, but there's a way to get them and use these on any of your worlds, which I have not figured out how to do until recently earlier tonight. So thankfully I know how to Google stuff and we found this post on Reddit. So instead of reading out the entire thing to you, I'm basically just gonna show to you show you how it works. And uh oh. <laughs> so you're gonna have to navigate to this folder. I'm gonna leave just the basic, you know, path in the description. So be sure to check that out and just paste it in your own computer. Um, obviously replace my name with yours or whatever it is on your computer. But yeah, you'll get the idea. So when you're in this folder, you're gonna have to go to premium cache, go to world templates, and then find whichever one of these that you wanna use. So you could actually check which one's which by checking the world icon. So you got Portal of Pioneers, you got this, this is the Coliseum one, and you got all these, you just got all these other ones. So I think we're gonna do the Neon City one, cause I haven't done that yet. So let me just go find the Neon City. Here, Neon District, that's the one I want. So we're gonna take this, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up another file over here. Open up file, just call this Neon, oops, Neon District RTX. So now we're gonna go to resource packs, the RP0 file, take everything here, copy it, and paste it into this folder. And now we wait. Then when you're done with that, right click on the new created folder with everything in it and basically turn it into a zip file. Zip. Now, after you've zip filed, rename this dot zip to dot MC pack. Yes, sir. Now click on that and it'll load it into the game. Let's check that really quickly. Global resources has now been added. Neon District RTX resources, just like that. So let us, now just to make sure it loads in quickly, close out of this, reopen it. Okay, now that we're back in the thing, let's do go here, change the bean cube that I was using previously to this one. Activate, deactivate, play. And hopefully this does not crash on us. So, it should be working. This probably isn't the best way to test it, but you could definitely see that everything is indeed working correctly. You got the RTX on. You have that very nice metallic reflective look does look fairly close to the other one we were using previously, but it's got everything running. You got the nice textures. You got this. Here you can see the lava that's still glowing correctly. So that looks good. That's all working. So now that it's nighttime, you can definitely see that it's working. You got the lights working correctly. Everything looks just like it does in the neon pack. So yeah. If you like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm making a lot of other random content, not just Minecraft, but also a bunch of other stuff, such as Dark Souls playthroughs, Pokemon, you name it. I just do a lot of stuff. I'm just here messing around. But yeah, anyway, that's it. See ya.